In our company, the most important data is sensitivity and sensitivity error of our sensors. But behind that is all the data generated during development and production that is used for the certification as they can serve for metrology. When we look at AI, we are always combining science and data science. The world of representation, multi-scale, multi-physics science, and the world of observation with the data that you can capture in the real world. This combination is very important. The world of representation is giving you the projection system that actually allows to understand what's happening in the real world. But it's also giving you the ability to generate synthetic data. We can build data set for learning for products that don't even exist yet with realistic virtual world. We can do what-if scenario in the virtual world to find solution to problems that we can anticipate in the real world. And this unique combination of science and data science to elevate mod sim data with AI is very unique to us. And if you take industrial sectors, we are already using AI to do cost optimization, standard to diversity management, or generative modeling to pre-optimize the product for cost, for weight, for sustainability. AI-powered virtual twins are so transformative because they change the management mode from reactive to proactive. When you think about it, it's enabling not only the simulation, but finally also potential autonomous decision-making in daily operations. Science and data science together are unleashing unique opportunities to serve um, our planet. But we could take many examples, you know, generating new material as an example. At the nanoscale level, finding the most optimum new materials to optimize the cost, the way, the sustainability uh, of any given product. If you use AI on your smartphone, does it help you and is it reliable or not? And the same thing will be if we go for engineering processes and decision making. So basically, uh, we have to get trust into it and then see where can we rely on it, where do we have to retrain it and have to approve it and improve it. Some specific examples where we see an impact of Gen AI on the engineering life cycle is right now, especially for the engineers doing regular things faster. In the second step, we will actually see Gen AI to be applied to assets, like for example, a software product, where we see a continuous optimization by generative AI and also incorporating unstructured data. The final stage will actually be generating new content and new IP. AI is everywhere in virtual twin experience, and it's always combined with science. But this together is actually helping our customers formulate dreams that are actually realistic, that we can manufacture in a more effective manner, minimizing what we're taking from Earth to make it happen, and then operating it for greater efficiency. And I think we are transforming the entire life cycle from imagination to operation for a greater impact to the society, thanks to data science and AI.